<laughs> and then at some point they chose leadership, where we spent 90 days in action, focusing on contribution, on love, and on distinctions that we learned throughout the process. You heard results are sexy. That's our team motto. And uh, I would like to share some outrageously sexy results. Okay, now this is 42 individuals. Money raised for charity. Over $38,000. It gets better, it gets better. Debt paid off. Debt paid off. In 90 days, folks. 90 days. Over $350,000. Additional savings, additional savings. Yes. This is cash money in the bank. Okay. Cash money in the bank. Over $240,000. Additional income. Additional income. Yeah. Come on now. Over half a million dollars. $558,623. 11 job promotions, 14 new businesses. You know my nerves is bad. Over 160 pounds released as a uh, Over 200 relationships reunited. We started with 42. We ended with 44 because we have two babies. and talk about results all night. And um, this is just scratching the surface. Yes. Right? We have individual results. We can, we can go on and on and on. But it's really, you know, it's really about having your life turn out. Yeah. It's really about living um, to your fullest potential, yeah. saying X, doing X. So I'm like, super excited, very grateful. Thank you, team. Congratulations to all of you. that I learned throughout this 90 day process. You guys are taking this 90 days of momentum challenge and I know it feels like it can be really tough and a little overwhelming at times, but don't worry, I have five tips that are possibly gonna help you in ways that I feel like would have helped me had I thought about it more, had I not been so like mm, about the process. Um, so here we go. One, I learned that I, um, I dream really big and really hard. So I learned that I, not to say I should dream responsibly because I mean, a dream is a dream for a reason, right? But in setting some of the goals that I set, like the 30,000 goal um, for new subscribers, 20,000 uh, increased salary, I feel like when I put it out there, like I just put it out there. Think about why you're putting certain things down. With me saying that I wanted 30,000 subscribers, what was, what was the purpose of gaining 30,000 subscribers. In my mind it was like, oh, because once you have that, you have an established channel. I wanted to touch, move, and inspire people, and that would have been good at 2,000 subscribers, it would have been good at 5,000 subscribers. It really didn't have to be 30,000, and I wish I would have thought about that when I set the goal. <laughs> Two, don't be so committed to how you want things to look, how you want your results to look, versus how they may actually be actualized um, like for me I accomplished a lot of things throughout the process that I hadn't even realized until afterwards when somebody was saying oh but you did this oh but you did that you know a lot of times we're so stuck on our vision and how we want it to look that we don't appreciate things as they're happening three I would say um, don't put so much judgment around yourself and how you're doing throughout the process. Um, uh, during my 90 days of momentum, when I would look at some things like my subscribers and be like, oh my gosh, I only have 500 and I declared 30,000. I started to put judgment around the things that I was doing. But in all actuality, um, what I should have been doing was taking time to enjoy the ride and celebrating the accomplishments and results that I was able to create. Because like I said, either way, it's winning, guys. This is stuff that you wouldn't 
wouldn't have been doing otherwise and things that you dreamed of doing and things that you set out to do and you're actually accomplishing some of these things if not a lot of these things and whether it happens within the 90 days or outside of the 90 days it's stuff that's getting done that probably wouldn't have otherwise so give yourself a pat on the back you deserve it <laughs> four when in doubt, focus out. Um, towards the latter end of the 90 days of momentum, I started to get like stressed, like OD. Like, oh my goodness, how is this gonna get done? How is this gonna get done? But I forgot to remember that it was supposed to be a fun process. You know, it's a challenging process, but it's supposed to be more fun than anything. I noticed that when I started to feel stressed, it was me focusing on myself and what it was that I was doing rather than focusing out and how I could, how what I was doing would be helping others. Once you focus out, it, you gain clarity one, you get a chance to take a breath too, and um, just to step back and realize what you're doing and how it can possibly affect others. Um, I don't know, for me, I learned that it helped. Speaking with a lot of other members on my team, I found that it helped with them as well. So I'd say try it. Five, the um, most important thing that I think I learned within this 90 Days of Momentum ch um, challenge and something that I would do going forward in general is to set a game plan. Um, when I set a lot of the goals that I did, I wasn't sure of how I was going to accomplish it. There was like no proof of evidence that it would happen. I wasn't on track for any of this stuff. And I set these goals, but not until about halfway in did I even start to really strategize a plan and how I was going to accomplish these things, which I really wish I would have. If I would have set the plan, too much i feel like i probably would have limited myself to a lot of things and not really thought outside of the box um and in that i probably would have missed out on a couple of opportunities um i wouldn't have thought of the train i wouldn't have met a couple of really awesome people with possible opportunities that may be happening later um as a result of those actions probably wouldn't have taken place so I mean, as much as you can set a plan, I say that it's a really good idea. Just so that you have some type of idea and like measurable way of getting to where you want to get rather than putting these really big goals out there and just being like, Lord, just make them come true, please. Because while you're putting action towards them, you want to make sure that it's, um, uh, I wouldn't say efficient, responsible action, something like that. You know, I've been really grateful for this uh, entire opportunity and this entire journey and everything to the point where I feel like I will be doing a 90 days of momentum again. Um, definitely won't be putting out another 90 videos, so don't worry. Um, but in just the idea of challenging myself um, and definitely not putting 18 goals out at once because that was kind of a lot. Um, but taking smaller bites of the elephant, but still putting myself uh, closer to what it is that I want to achieve is something that I'm definitely going to be doing. Um, so what's next for Kerrika TV? Big plans for Kerrika TV. Uh, now that I know I can put up consistent videos, because before that was a problem, I plan da -da -da -da, I'm putting up a video each week, yay, consistently. Um, two times during the month, it will be something where I'm bringing you a new artist or um, maybe a new episode of Fashion Pedicab, which will be coming back soon. Um, once it gets warm outside because right now it's negative six degrees outside and I don't like the cold. The other two uh, Sundays of the week I will be doing videos where I'm just sitting down and talking to you guys about um, I don't want to say randomness but whatever is on my mind on my heart uh, whether it's something that I accomplished during the week that was super cool a conversation that I had with somebody or whether I want to sing you guys a song for a music Sunday into Kerika Music Mondays, I don't know. Um, just something, I am so happy that if you're watching this, you are planning to take the journey yourself or that you are in the process of doing it and I hope that it encourages you as well. If you guys have any comments that you would like to share, um, any thoughts that you would like to share, if you wanna let a sister know what you're up to during your 90 Days of Momentum Challenge, uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you're doing, if there's anything that I could do to help, if there's anything that you, um, I don't know, if you have any questions or something. And for now, this video is getting really long, so in the meantime, between time, I'm going to say live rich and happy dream chasing, and please subscribe to Katie Got TV. Schwanks! <laughs>
I've always been committed to the idea of a live rich world, one where everyone was stepping into their power and creating a life that they love to live. So I've started the 90 Days of Momentum Challenge. I signed up for a um, program called the Momentum Education. Leadership is a 90 day program that is supposed to create mind blowing results, okay? Mind blowing. 